The Little Miss Geek Tech Clubs have gone brilliantly. I couldn't be happier. And the team have done an amazing job. But ultimately, the girls, you know, the girls were open to it and um, I think they've really enjoyed it. Well, Sphero has been fantastic because it's part of robotics, so it introduces a much bigger theme. But it's also something very visual and the girls can easily manipulate and take their first entry into coding to get girls to start thinking not just about consuming technology, but about creating it. Lady Geek introduced the Sphero to us because it's to do with coding. And I think it's incredible because it's a really fun and interactive way to get people involved in technology. I downloaded the draw and drive because it means I can do any sort of squiggle and the Sphero will follow my commands. And there's no better way to learn about it. You really get so much from just playing with Sphero. It has helped the students to develop their confidence. I think that's really important as a girls' school um, that we get the students to consider um, careers that are free from gender stereotypes and I think it has really um, got them to consider computer science and design and technology as careers that they could potentially lead in. It's been a fantastic opportunity for them to really show us what they're capable of doing and a lot of the lessons just haven't really been led and in that same way they've been given new tools and they've surprised us uh, with things that perhaps we weren't even able to do uh, at first and they've shown us what they can experiment with some new software and surprise us. You can actually draw shapes on the floor of the Sphero and I think that's really cool. As you saw tonight, the Sphero was a real main part because it's visual and it's tangible and it's really quite exciting and unique. So the girls love Sphero um, and it's been a really important part of the, of the course in robotics.